Legend has it that buffalo wings were created by a mistake at a bar in Buffalo, New York. I'm really, really glad that they made this mistake. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Nick and in today's video we are indeed going to be making some oven baked buffalo wings. The thing that I really love about oven baked wings is that you're doing them at a high temperature throughout the whole entire cook. So the skin is indeed going to be really crispy and it doesn't take the long to make it at all. About 40 minutes to an hour. The only downside is they're not deep fried. The only other downside is they're not smoked. So wings, whether they're smoked, oven baked, or deep fried all have their benefits. But today we're doing them in the oven. So in this video, we're going to trim them. We're going to season them. We're going to throw them in the oven and then we're going to make a homemade buffalo sauce that is super easy then in the end we're gonna get lost in the sauce eat them I'm gonna have a lot of fun I hope you guys will too so without further ado let's just get right into the video but before we do if you are not subscribed be sure to hit the subscribe button we're posting a new video every Tuesday and Thursday so the first thing that we need to do today is cut up our wings so what we have here guys is the whole wing attached as you can see we have our little drum that meets right here with this uh flat and then you have your little wing tip now some places just you know fry them like this and give them to you but i like them when they're separated so we're going to start out by detaching this wing tip now this wing tip everything is attached by joints and sometimes you could feel it sometimes i could find it like that sometimes i can't but as you see that was a pretty clean cut right through here and it will almost kind of lead you right down to where it needs to be separated and the thing that helps me the most is you have to realize that this drum comes straight and it meets there's like a little ball right here and when you cut it you should be cutting it like this so the drum is actually a drum if you go to try to cut it like this there's a bone that runs through right here so think of a drumstick it comes down and it has that little joint at the end so if you can remember that you can find it really nice and easy just like that and this is what i was talking about you know it's almost like you're holding it down here and you see that little that little knuckle right there it makes it really easy if you just remember that you know let's look at it again this is kind of how the shape of it was we just came and we cut you know right through here so that this actually has like a little handle down at the bottom and then this flat if you look at it it should be almost kind of like a little slight angle squared off at the top and it comes down to like a little triangle at this point point. and so now i'm going to show you what i do next whenever you get these wings and you cut them yourself there's always this like little extra flap of skin so i just kind of like to take my fingers and i can just kind of like press in the meat so i just kind of like to take and cut that off and then as you see here we didn't take any of the meat out it's still nice and perfect all of the meats there but it's just a little bit of excess skin and there you go just do this until all of your wings are done and when they're all done we'll move on to the next step now we have all of our wings cut up into drums and flats so the next step is we're going to take some paper towels and we just want to pat them dry so we're just going to lay down some paper towel and i'm not going to get super super crazy with this i'm not going to pick up each individual one and try and flip them around just get them the best that you can just kind of you know do like this we're not trying to get this perfect if you do this it'll just help you out a lot you don't need to get both sides really just toss them around a little bit pat them dry and we are good now we're gonna take and toss our wings into a bowl. We're gonna get our seasoning on them. Let's go ahead and just get them all in there and we're good to go. So right here, I have two pounds of wings. And right here, I have this little seasoning concoction that I made. This seasoning concoction is two tablespoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, and a quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper. So now we are gonna take, and we are just gonna sprinkle this over our wings. And we wanna get a really nice even coating. We're gonna dump about half of this out, and then we are going to mix it around. So now just take and mix it around just want to get it mixed around really nice and good that looks good to me now let's take and dump out the other half of this on here and the baking powder is just going to help get our wings nice and crispy and this seasoning that i'm making right here is good for about two to two and a half pounds of wings and i actually like how i'm looking so these are ready to go in the oven so now let's take our wings and we are just going to place them on the here. So the reason why I'm using this wire rack is so that airflow can get underneath and can get all sides crispy. When you kind of put wings just on a normal baking sheet in the oven, the underside isn't gonna be able to get the same kind of crispness because there won't be airflow underneath. And when you have a tray underneath, it's gonna help your tray to catch any of the juices that fall. That way you don't get the bottom of your oven dirty. 
And the reason why I have aluminum foil on my pan is so that my pan doesn't get dirty and I don't have to wash it when I'm done. Even though you guys are probably gonna tell me I should because I'm cooking raw chicken on it and my wife is probably gonna tell me the same thing too and I'll get yelled at and we'll get in a fight. Then we'll have to go to marriage counseling all over some chicken wings. But hey, that's just what happens sometimes when you have a cooking show. So now that you're done with marriage counseling and you want to get back to your chicken wings, or maybe you finish your chicken wings and then went, I don't know what you guys do in your house. You want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Once your oven is ready to go, time to get them in there. Now that your oven is preheated, go ahead and get your wings in there at 425 degrees. So depending on the size of your wings, this could take anywhere from about 40 minutes to an hour. We really want our wings to get past 170 degrees. They're fully cooked and ready to eat at 165, but with dark meat, with wings, with, you know, like the thighs and drumsticks and stuff like that, when you go up and above, that 165 range and you cross over like 170, 175, they become really tender. And you really want your wings to be able to bite right off of the bone. Nobody likes to eat wings that are just like with ribs that are super tough and chewy. And if you let it go to like 175, you'll be really good. So that being said, at the 20 minute mark, we're gonna flip them over. But right now, while our wings are cooking and we have this 20 minutes of time, this would be the perfect time to go ahead and get your buffalo sauce started. So for my buffalo sauce, there's only three things that you need. That is four tablespoons of butter, one cup of hot sauce, preferably Frank's Red Hots, and then a saucepan. So we're gonna start by taking our one cup of hot sauce. We're gonna dump it in here. And don't you dare let any of this hot sauce go to waste. You see hot sauce dripping down the edge? You better look it up. If it gets on your mustache, better look it up. This is good stuff. Mm. If you don't, I'll come to your house. I'll lick it for you. Just call me anytime. I'll get all your hot sauce off your dishes, off your hot sauce bottle. If you dump out hot sauce and it drizzles down the edge, like on your eggs or something, you better lick it off. It's a sin if you don't. Now, onto the butter. We got four tablespoons of butter. Now, got your butter, take it out of the package, and you're gonna just gently plop it in there. Because if you're an idiot like me, and you throw it in there, it's gonna splatter around everywhere. I've learned that the hard way. Now let's get this on the stove. Now, take off this stupid thing, because you have kids and you have to have that and go ahead and start it. We're just gonna put it on about like a medium, medium low heat. And the goal here is just to get our butter nice and melted. So once it's melted, I'll come back and tell you guys what to do next. Your butter is all melted and it kind of looks like this. You can see there's like a little like film on top. That's all that melted butter. So what we wanna do is we just wanna kind of cook this down, let it reduce a little bit, it'll thicken up. And we wanna do that with just very, very light bubbles around the outside edge. This is like a low simmer. And if it starts to bubble a little bit too much, then all you gotta do is just, you know, turn down your heat a little bit. But we just wanna like stir this and let it do its thing for probably about a total of like two to three minutes. Then you just wanna shut it off and let it cool. And by the time your wings are done in about, you know, 30 minutes or so, uh, this will be nice and good and ready to toss. After your two or three minutes is up, kill the heat and shut this stupid thing so your kid doesn't touch it. And you're done. So now that your timer is up, it's time to flip the wings. Go ahead and get your oven open. Let's go ahead and pull these wings out if you can. Maybe you're dumb like me and you forgot how to grab a thing that's hot. I don't know what's going on with me today, guys, but you guys get it. You're just gonna flip them. You're just gonna go ahead and flip us, flip some. Go ahead and flip some. Flip some and goes ahead. <sighs> why am I so weird? I don't know why. And you're the one that's watching the video. It's your fault. You guys encourage this nonsense. I keep watching the videos and I gotta keep making more. So, all right, now that you got them all flipped, let's go ahead, get it back in the oven. All right, so open your oven back up. Let's go ahead and get them back inside. I'm gonna separate those two a little bit. Go ahead, close down your oven. So these are finally done now. We had them going at 425 degrees and they actually only took about a total of 30 minutes to cook. Uh, luckily, I checked them around the 30 minute mark, went ahead and poked them with my thermometer and they're pushing almost all the way up past 185 degrees. I pulled them out, I let them rest for about a good five minutes or so. And then I put 12 of them in this bowl. Now we're here with our final product. Time to toss these in sauce and I'll give them a taste. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna dump out some of our sauce on here. We don't wanna go too crazy. We'll go ahead and we'll call this probably good. Now we're just gonna take and we're just gonna give these wings a nice little toss. I don't know, 
don't rate me on this. Maybe I'm not the best at tossing wings. I don't know. But I think it looks pretty good to me. Go ahead and just beat them up. So now guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, we have our buffalo wings that were oven bake, homemade seasoning, homemade buffalo sauce. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Dude, these are so good. Mm. 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 <clears throat> wow. These are good, they're nice and spicy. You get a lot of that pepper notes, a little bit of that cayenne. Makes for a really great flavor. It's only 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm eating a bunch of wings. My job's awesome. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna hit that little blue button. I know all the YouTubers say it, and apparently they say that when you do it, it helps out like the YouTube algorithm to recommend your video. So if you could do that to help me out, I'd appreciate it. Share this with your friends. And you know what? Actually, don't share the video with your friends. Just make my recipe and share the wings with your friends. That would mean more to me. I don't care if your friends watch it. If they do, it's cool, but just make my food and impress other people. That's what I love about cooking is giving my food to other people. That's what's special about cooking to me. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day, night, or whatever time it is when you find this video. And as always, I'll see all of you in my next video. <laughs>